Hey guys, what's up? Time for another game theory video. Remember to like the videos, like, sub, silly, comment, share, support the channel if you want. I do appreciate it. Thanks. So Dymo had made me some more thumbnails, and this is one of the thumbnails, which, again, if ever you like a thumbnail on my channel, there's probably a 90% chance that he made it. But I was looking at this picture, and I'm like, how can I turn this into a game theory video? And I was like, okay, what about the topic that you see a lot of people talk about neutral versus tech or nooch versus tech, whatever fucking phrase the community uses, right? What is more important to winning and to being a good player? And I would say whatever one is going to win you that particular match. Probably not a, a popular opinion. <laughs> it's, it's the real one. Whatever pill you're going to swallow that is going to win you that specific match is the more important one at that time. Because whatever is winning is the most important thing, right? And I'm going to give some different examples and stories about this, right? I think a lot of reasons that people talk shit about combos or people that do combos or whatever it might be. And they're like, oh, you could do a combo, but what about your neutral? And I think people talk shit about this. And it's almost like a coping mechanism, right? Like, oh, you did this combo, but what about your neutral? As if these people are, have that good of neutral, right? I think it's because there's not as many variables when we're talking about a combo as there is potentially what... what uh, is encompassing the idea of neutral, right? Combos in tech, you know, you think about that. There's not a lot of variables to combos per se in this argument, right? What is optimal, right? If we take a game like Dragon Ball Fighter Z, whatever, there's not a lot of variables in terms of what is the best combo, right? You have the couple variables is like, I guess, does it, is it a sliding knockdown and how much meter it builds, right? You know, of course, then you want whatever does the most damage, right? There's not a lot of variables there. It's like, can you do it or can't you, right? There's no question, is it optimal or not? Because a lot of times it's very obvious, right? And so people use it as a coping mechanism for their own lack of skill combo-wise. Like, oh, well, you know, uh, whatever, whatever. It's neutral that's important, whatever, right? You know what I mean? And what encompasses neutral could be a lot of different things, right? I mean, is neutral, does neutral involve knowledge checks just about the game? You know, does, does neutral involve maybe a shenanigan or does a shenanigan count as tech or something like that? You know, versus combos. And again, you know, obviously there's lots of players or, you know, just the history of games. Sometimes a guy might be known as a guy that's better at combos. Some guy might be known as a guy that maybe his combos were not as good, but his neutral was so good. Whatever pill you take to win the match is the most important thing. Winning is the most important thing, right? Both are important, right? I think that's what people don't want to talk about. I mean, maybe your neutral is amazing, but if you can't do a good combo, you're probably going to have problems winning unless your neutral is just such a different level, such an insane different level than someone else. Just the same as maybe someone has some sketchy neutral, but they can hit the optimal combo all the time. And it's just so funny because, again, I think the reason that people always want to hate on someone that is good at combos and execution, which is funny because I've constantly said, I don't consider myself in the grand scheme of fighting games an, an amazing execution guy, actually, right? But I have no problem saying, well, that's a better combo than this. I don't know why people have to get butthurt and insecure about combos because you can look at something. Combos, there's not as many variables. Maybe in a game like Guilty Gear or something like that, you know, when you don't only not only have like meter build and damage, but you also have the idea of burst safe combos and, you know, what combo is going to give a better setup. Maybe there's a little bit more variables there. But again... What I'm trying to get at for combos when people talk shit about it is there's not as many variables, right? It either is the best combo that you can do in this situation or it isn't. Whereas neutral can encompass a lot of different things. And again, the funny thing is a lot of people that say they're so good at neutral, they're not that good. Which then gets back to my idea, most people aren't good at video games, okay? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Most people are not that good at video games. There's millions of people that play fighting games. There's only a small percentage of people that are actually good. And this is the thing that fucks with people. So whatever pill makes you is going to make you win is the best for the situation. Because winning is most important. Right? And I talk about, you know, I've talked about some of these stories before. Let's look at the... Uh, 
And you know, I know this makes people mad. You know what I mean? I don't play a lot of video games. I don't practice a lot. So I've talked about this tournament. There was the one Evo and you know, it was after I did radiation and I was very sick. I wasn't practicing a lot, barely at all, right? I mean, you can look at the pictures. I looked like shit. You can see the tournament, right? And I had versed Ricky, and Ricky is obviously a very famous player, right? At the time, Ricky was actually considered a top player in Guilty Gear, believe it or not. Now, why I had to verse Ricky first round when I had won every single tournament besides one for an entire year, which the community wants to both pretend didn't happen. I won every tournament I entered for a year on disability besides one. I mean, give me a break. Why we're versing when we're both top players? But... The idea was it was a XX tournament, right? And it wasn't reload. And I've told this story before. So a lot of times too, if we're thinking about muscle memory as part of neutral even, you know what I mean? It, there's so many different facets or what could be good makes a person good at a video game. Muscle memory is important, right? You know what I mean? And sometimes that's why I say, man, if I play Dragon Ball Fighters, half the time when I'm doing combos, I forget what the buttons are because I just don't play the game like that. Muscle memory is important, right? But the story of this is so it was re it was reload is what was actually being played right but they were having xx at that evo and so muscle memory wise i had already taught myself that in you know reload with kai you always do kick hard slash kick hard slash it's a muscle memory thing right but then they had um xx at that tournament for some reason even though everyone had basically been playing reload for the majority of the tournaments right and so i was like fuck i'm not really practicing i don't have the muscle memory for this and I saw I was playing Ricky and obviously Ricky's very famous and Ricky let's we're say let's say Ricky just played Street Fighter in like CVS2 whatever Ricky is not known as a combo video person but Ricky is known as a neutral kind of person right but I was like you know what I can do neutral wise that I don't think Ricky knows anything about Shinokuma and I beat Ricky pretty easily there was perfects there was like an instant kill it was pretty bad right Ricky didn't lose to a combo, even though people want to say I'm a combo guy. Ricky, I don't even know if you could say lost to my neutral, if you want to say it was neutral. Ricky lost to, I mean, of course you can use Shinokuma and you can definitely use Shinokuma in neutral, but I was obnoxious with it because I knew that it was something that I could perform that Ricky had never seen before. So for to take about it, think about it as a tech thing, right? You know, people say, oh, we don't care about tech. We don't care about combos. But look at how the lies the community makes up about me about it. So obviously they care. But think about it in this situation I'm getting at. Think about it from the perspective as is it is a combo. It is tech, right? It is not even necessary. I wasn't necessarily using it as a neutral. I was literally just doing Shinokuma right in Ricky's face. And then right when I was supposed to have recovery and they went to combo me, I just jumped to the other side and I comboed them. Ricky lost to a knowledge check shenanigan bullshit thing. Because that I knew that was going to win me the match. I didn't have to be practiced because I saw that Ricky had never seen that before. And Ricky, all of Ricky's neutral, it didn't have anything to do with Rick. Let's say, not that this is, was the case, right? But let's pretend in this fantasy world that Ricky had better neutral than me in Guilty Gear, whatever it is. Ricky didn't lose to my root neutral. Ricky lost to a fucking shenanigan, bullshit thing that they had never seen before. And they were not equipped to deal with that in a two out of three match. Now, some people might say that, you know what I mean, maybe winning by a shenanigan cheapens the victory or whatever like that. But what I'm getting at is whatever wins at the time is the most important, right? If you're playing a guy and your neutral is suspect, whatever it might be, but your combos are just on such another level that it compensates for your sketchier neutral than the other person, then combos were more important in that victory than neutral, right? Do you get what I'm getting at? So both are important. Combos are not necessarily the most important thing all the time, but if it's the most important thing that is going to win you the match... Then you take that combo pill. If the other person, you know, they have better execution than, they, than you. Then you need to compensate by having such better neutral than that person to beat them in that aspect of the match, right? 
And again, we, I, I talked about shenanigans and everything like that. And that's why I say, you know, the plus R thing is funny for Guilty Gear because I, I'm i surprised how much I've won in Accent Core plus R because it's not a game that I really played, right? You know, so I've been beating people just because my, I don't think I've been beating anybody because I can do better combos than them. Their neutral is just suspect. They're just not that good at the game. People that talk shit about, oh, you know, claim that possible combo is not that great, blah, 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 whatever, all this kind of, which is, which is false, obviously, right? And that just shows the insecurity of these people like, oh, combos don't matter, neutral matter. Do you think every match I've been hitting people with the impossible combo? I've been beating people on this busted up controller that I can barely even do it. These people that talk shit about combos that they don't care, which obviously they care or else they wouldn't be talking shit about it. Their neutral isn't that good in the first place either. These people actually, a lot of people, or who knows, maybe not a lot of people, but I could easily, I would assume, be knowledge checked in plus R because it's not a game that I really played. There's probably tons of shenanigans that could beat me. But these people's neutral is not that good to com compensate for what they know about the game compared to me, right? So there's so many different facets of what go into being good at a game, into what can win you a match. Combos are important. Neutral is important. Knowledge checks are important. Important. How much you've played the game, muscle memory, adaptation, all this stuff is popular or important, right? That's what I'm trying to get at. So what is the best pill to take? The best pill to take is whatever is going to win you the match. And of course, I understand that, you know, Maybe from, you know, a shenanigan tech-wise, you know, that might cheapen the victory for you or cheapen, you know, that person might feel a little bit more angry if they lost to some kind of random tech they have never seen before. Again, Ricky just slapped my hand away. God, I, I wonder if someone has that on tape. That that would be funny. You know, they, well, actually, you know, I know it's on tape because they're fucking taping me for Evo 2K4. So I wonder if they still have that footage. You know what I mean? They fucking slapped my hand away when I told them I'm sorry because it was obnoxious how I beat them. And I'm sure they were not happy. But what wins is the most important, right? I guess you could say the most important thing, if you want to be the best player, you want to have good neutral and good combos. You want to be able to do everything. You want to be unsusceptible to any knowledge check, all right? You know, it's funny to talk about neutral and, and combos. If we're thinking about combos as in a facet of, you know, tech, you know what I mean? Lab monster stuff, whatever. You know, I, I've said before, it's funny because you look at people that play Street Fighter 2, these newer school people, newer school people, you know, whatever. How many people do you see that when they talk about Street Fighter 2, it's everything, oh, option select, throw this, option select this, blah, 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 blah. And of course, obviously, video games progress, you know, option selects were not really a thing talked about back in the day in Street Fighter 2 when we played. But if you're thinking about option selects and tech in that kind of perspective as being that sort of combo pill, lab monster pill, well, isn't option selecting and all that kind of stuff just your lab monster pill? What does that have to do really with neutral per se? Right? And that's why I've said when I played Super Turbo, look how many people I was able to beat in Super Turbo. When I started playing games again, you know, years and years ago when I was making all those fake accounts, I wasn't only playing Carnal's Revenge, Street Fighter Alpha. I was also playing Super Turbo. And I was beating a lot of fucking people. With their option selects, their lab monster stuff, because their neutral wasn't that good. So many people that talk about their neutral, it's not that good. And then again, you know, even get to what is neutral, right? I mean, Jesus Christ, sometimes look at those stories of, uh, I, I feel like a lot of times you see people like, oh, neutral, maybe they'll pick a character like, I feel like a, a classic example might be, say, like Rose in Street Fighter Alpha 2. Rose is new. So many things could be neutral, but let's say Rose, you know, you're just mashing on Duck Strong or some shit like that. You know what I mean? Look at my neutral. I'm mashing on Duck Strong. This isn't about a combo. I beat you with my amazing neutral, my... <laughs> my my normal that is so powerful it's basically a meme you know what i mean this is my neutral you know I'm, you know i'm kind of you know take it with a grain of salt right but do you deserve credit if that's really your neutral and you're just beating some guy that is not well versed on the game <laughs> do you know what i mean it's like wow you beat someone with your amazing neutral 
because they're not that good at the game and you're using this overpowered normal that is just bonkers. Uh, do you know what I mean? So, so many things could facet. You could poke holes in so many different, so many different arguments that I did, I'm getting at. You could poke holes in so many different people's arguments about what is good in a video game, what is most important, and I'm going to go with the most important thing is what wins you that fucking match. What pill is going to win you that match? Does that make sense? Anyway, remember if you like the videos, like, sub, silly, comment, share, support the channel if you want. I appreciate it. The end. Thanks.